the, 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 the avenues of where you're getting this type of information is shut down. Now listen. Apparently these motherfuckers have found out that the kidneys is some type of alien organ that's inside of us. When we say alien, we know it ain't a motherfucker from outer space. We know the aliens been here years ago when we seeded the planet. You see what I'm saying? So, we know that we the fucking aliens. We know that we the reptilians. You see what I'm saying? So now, this organ is inside of the body. Something with the kidneys, they have to shut down. So what they do, they convince the black man and the black woman that when your kundalini rises, and whatever the effect of your kundalini rising, they tell you it's high blood pressure. And it is nothing but the kundalini rising to bring the kidneys online. And the pineal gland and all of that. So therefore, they make the high blood pressure medicine, and the high blood pressure medicine does what? Shuts down the kidneys. So therefore, this is why they got, they went from having one nigga on dialysis in 1968 that I knew of to a whole shit look by as many people as you got in here, and that's just the West End alone. That ain't including the rest of Atlanta. <clears throat> Only damn dialysis because the fucking high blood pressure medicine. Okay? Because the key here is, is dehydration. Now let's look at the science on this. You go to Kroger. On one side, the entire store, long, they got a row of sodas. This shit here reached from one, from, 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 the, from the, the front of the store all the way to the back. And none of this shit exceeds $4. And the four dollar shit is the high price shit. That's your Pepsi and your Coke. The rest of that shit is a dollar. One eighty nine. Get your fucking twelve pack. You see what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to make it light. So you got all of this type of stuff. It reaches from one end of the store to the other. Sodas. Now, adjacent to the row of the sodas is what the potato chip row. And potato chips is what dehydration, sodium salt. And the potato chips don't exceed three dollars. You see where I'm coming from? It's not by mistake that they write that. And public the potato chip row is on just the other side, but they're always together in the same vicinity. Now the potato chip row is right across the aisle in Kroger. See what I'm saying? Now what else is on the potato chip row? It takes up a whole row, but they got sections. One row is one section. The biggest section is potato chips. The next section is peanuts. Salt. And in the third section is fucking microwave popcorn. Salt. Sodium. Right across from the sodas to shut down the kidneys. Then that's why they kill you, girl, with the water. They're trying to destroy the kidneys because they know there's an alien organ in you. Now, I've been talking about this get to the lava, though. So I'm getting to some other stuff I found out. Just profound. Uh, just a few minutes ago. And Lavado is nothing but a, a male and female harvest entity, a harvest and Maya combined. Harmaku, which is the Sphinx. Heru and Maya together. Harvest and Maya combined. You get the Lavado, uh, which we traced around the world and all, and even all up into Europe. And all. Uh, this particular entity, when I was talking to this particular entity, this particular entity now, because the entity is rising, we're all connected as one. So the lava dough energy is basically the kundalini energy that's in all of us. So when I talk about lava dough, the lava dough is also in you. You just don't know it. Or the hay root. Now the key here is, is this. When I asked him what did he need, he said, I need water. I need water. Now one of the keys here is, is basically, now I've been in this thing for 15 years. I've been teaching for 10 years, and I'm trying to tell you, Based on the experiments, because I was a vegetarian for so many years, you see what I'm saying? I was a vegetarian for so many years, but then again, on the other hand, the only thing I know that affected me, outside of cleaning out, that's one of the keys, is to clean out more than anything. You, you know what I'm saying? They used to go on a fast to fucking clean out. That was the fastest for in the ancient world. Now you got all kind of shit. Colon cleansers, this and that, and all that kind of shit to do. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, our intervals or whatever. But the point about it, other than cleaning out, the water was the key. And I talked about how I went on three gallons of water 
three to four gallons of water a day. Y'all can't do that because most of y'all work. <laughs> three to <laughs> four gallons of water a day for four days. And on the fourth day, I started time traveling. You see what I'm saying? I started time traveling. You see, on the fourth day, I started time traveling. The key here is, is they have to stop the water. Because what I did is I loosened up something. Something that was dormant. And I started and I, and I started time traveling. You see what I'm saying? And I loosened up something. I know a lot of you work and stuff like that and all. And stuff because I don't take this, like I said, I don't took this leisure shit to a metaphysical level. <laughs> <laughs> and try to see how much, how much I can talk doing nothing. So I master doing nothing, then I try to talk that. Because so I basically do nothing myself out of existence. <laughs> I took this leisure shit to a whole other fucking level and shit like that. And try to improve on doing nothing. You know, so motherfuckers call and say, what you doing? I said, now, nah, God damn it. I ain't doing shit. Nothing, not a damn thing. And I try to improve on doing nothing. You see what I'm saying and all. And, 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 and all, you know. <laughs> That's a whole other lecture. Now, dealing with this science based on this particular war, based on this particular war, if you can stop this thing, it's got something to do with our kidneys now, and it's got something to do with the high blood pressure and deep, Hydration. That is the key to the water. The water and the whole Kundalini energy. Now, uh, the whole Kundalini energy, which also has to do, because the water also turns into sexual fluids, which is called collars, which is the key to a lot of this particular uh, aspect and all, because one of the keys here is if you can get, they already said that the most ancient, the, the word Atlantis simply means the black woman. Huh. Gender means a black woman. I want to want to say this because this is very important. Uh, University of Chicago has done other research in the last 20, 30 years as well as they only uh, is, is explaining what the what the, the what the people from India had already told them, which is nothing but the original Typhonian pre-dynastic Egyptians that the Kundalini is a feminine. Force. The fire is a feminine force. So if the Kundalini is a feminine force, and the physical body is an illusion that don't exist, a series of events that don't exist, it's the matrix. And the Kundalini, which is hooked up with the chakras and the ends of the pineal gland, and if the Kundalini is the basis of the feminine force and they say our God is an all-consuming fire and it is a feminine force, that means that there is no such thing as male. Ata fire. There is no such thing as male. Ata there is just only an opposite counterpart or a half of female that appears as male and especially when it's a connection when it comes to the, to the black man. Because even my lot of Karinga said he said that the only person on the planet, other than the women and the black woman, because that's the basis. The other motherfuckers ain't real, so they don't count. We're talking about us, the original people. Right. That's discriminated based on sexism, because sexism was before racism. But not only do we have racism, the sister is discriminated against with sexism. The only other person that is looked on and is discriminated against based on sexism is the black man. Because the white man has discriminated on the black man based on his sexuality. Based on feeling inadequate, feeling jealous, or whatever. That is a form of sexism. That is not by mistake. If they talk about the feminine force, now the whole Matrix books, the big Matrix books, the Al Valerian book came out in, in, in 2001. It actually came out in 2000 with talking shit about the feminine principle, but what you don't understand, when they was talking about shit about the feminine principle, they was talking about the black man too. Because they're talking about the kundalini energy outside of the physical is a feminine energy. Now that's why even Crawley figured it out. Well, I don't think Crawley figured it out, but I figured it out one night when, 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 when the ex-mate Ginger first got off the mounds and started channeling. And I tapped into what they call, they call it the Great White Brotherhood. Oh, it's not white people, but the light. 
The brotherhood, this so-called brotherhood, this divine hierarchy. And I looked around and said, when I was talking to them, I said, all oh, y'all are a bunch of bitches, ain't you? They go, we like you. <laughs> now don't get mad, because bitch means priest until the dog star, bitch, bitch, witch, where you get that whole thing from. I'm talking about the line. So when I said it, I was in order. I said, all oh, y'all are a bunch of bitches. I was talking to Melchizedek and all these so-called masculine women. And he said, we like you. Now Crowley figured out in the Book of Lies where they talk about the AA, which is the Great White Brotherhood. He said, on earth, the Great Brotherhood that they talk about, the hierarchy that guides all of us, we look on it as males. Brotherhood. He said, but in the cosmos, the Great Brotherhood are all women. So we're talking about a, 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 a force. I say this because I got to say this because there's a, a whole other thing that's going down right now with a whole bunch of black sisters that's going on. They got into a particular consciousness and started dealing with the feminine principle. Now, the feminine principle is not to be mistaken for feminism. Feminism is a white paradigm, you see what I'm saying, with the study of the black woman, they put together a political agenda. There's a difference. The fit, uh, uh, there's a difference. Now, this is the key. Because there's a whole, cause, cause, uh, there's a whole group of women now that, that was into the conscious movement. Now, all of a sudden, they, they, they got together and they got more frustrated. You know, with the black man and shit like that. Now, I said, well, hell, bring, bring oppression. Blame the fact that hell, half the real niggas was in jail. <laughs> and the rest of the motherfucking little weeby don't work because of the high blood pressure of medicine. <laughs> One of the keys. A lot of shit going down. You see what I'm saying? A lot of shit going down. Remember I told you the last time and shit, the wee wees ain't working past 40 because you got on the motherfucking underwear. Your <laughs> briefs. That's the key. <laughs> the briefs. Y'all already know that the bra is the shit that causes the fucking breast cancer. The fucking bra. Uh, but you see, Victoria's uh, Secret can't make no fucking money uh, by you telling the goddamn truth. Uh, and everything else and all and all the other shit that's on lockdown because of the fucking underwear. Now look, look at this, it's simple. Look at nature. You get some figs and some oranges and shit <laughs> on the damn tree, they hang down. Right? So now if you got it, you ain't heard no goddamn Africans over there having no fucking breast cancer. The shit is simple. You see what I'm saying? Maybe some modern people, remember your boy Lyndon LaRue said he was over there in Africa? Lyndon LaRue said he was over there in Africa and had no cancer at all and then they dropped a big ass dash of sunglasses over that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And he said after they dropped them sunglasses off there in the sixties and shit, he said that Africa was coming down the damn lake with fucking cancer. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Now you look over there all off them trees. You see fucking everything hanging off the vines. Grapes, plums, and everything. Well that means your scrotum was supposed to hang like that in your wee wee. <laughs> and your breasts. You see what I'm saying? Then you understand where all the goddamn cancer shit coming from and why your wee-wee don't work out the goddamn 35. They got motherfuckers, this shit they got, yo, they got motherfuckers wee-wees ain't working in early 30s. Johnson is dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of the goddamn underwear. You see what I'm saying? At least you gotta put on the boxes. But the briefs and shit, and why an interesting, why would an interesting, like I talked about the last time, that they did the studies that the goddamn fruit and looms and all that shit got pork in it. Yeah. Got pork in the damn briefs. <laughs> now what is it? They got pork? How they stick pork up in the goddamn briefs? Because they already know they got some shit that they're dealing with, with the joints and the tatty whacker. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And it's not my mistake again that you got the Osirian penis all over the world. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And all this type of stuff here. And what it also, get the book, the, uh, Prometheus Rising, no, not this one, not Prometheus Rising, Ishtar Rising, where this whole shit is a, a whole separate thing based on the breast of his. The breast of his. The breast. You see what I'm saying? The tits. You see? The golden apples. What's the name gets the golden apples? Hercules gets the golden apples. The golden apples is them, them, them tits. And why is so? My point everything off the, the grows hangs off the shit. They get the flow of some shit. You see where I'm coming from? Right. And also, the, 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 this is one of the keys when it comes to this type of thing. I don't even lost my goddamn point, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, dealing with this thing, dealing with the, you got Leviathan is the fish. Now it's interesting. What's this? It's a book that's it's got a picture of Jesus fishing. And all, and he's fishing, and he's got a hook, and 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 and, and there's seven seals coming out of Leviathan's mouth, and these seals got a goddess, a god on it, like the Orishas. 
and all this type of thing here. But here it is again. The, it is the whale that is giving up this particular science, or giving up, giving up this particular energy. You see, the, uh, it's, it's giving up this, this particular energy. Um, the Dogon, you got no more the fish. Now the mythology goes that in the end, no more will return, and when he returns, we will be ready. No more is going to turn, and that's the, they show the whole big spaceship. That's the, that's the first lecture I did 10 years ago. The whole no more thing is returning. So therefore, if the no more thing is returning, it's got something to do with the fucking kidneys. With the, and we talk about the high blood pressure medicine. Now, the brother Wesley said that, you know, high blood pressure medicine is very expensive. Before they had the high blood pressure medicine today, they had old water pills. So now they're telling black people that if you can't get the high blood expensive shit, we're going to give you this cheap ass water pill, which is a diuretic. Now go ahead and get the movie. It's all in the movie, uh, in the movie, uh, 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 the faculty. They, how did they kill them? They dehydrated them with what they said. The guy said, it's a diuretic. And this is how you dehydrate them. And where was the damn dragon-like entity that we talked about the lava door the last couple of months? Where was that entity was in the movie? Where was it from? Atlanta. It was a little white girl. The faculty. The little dragon was from Atlanta. This came out in 1999. The dragon was from Atlanta. Then all of a sudden, you got this woman talking about firing the water department. It don't matter what water. It ain't got nothing to do with United Water. They don't give a damn if it was goddamn Mount Zion, Holy Calvary, Baptist Church water department. It ain't got shit to do with that. The whole concept here is when you announce changes, then that means that gives them the leverage to come in and do all kind of shit. Remember I was telling how the motherfucker pulled up in front of my goddamn house? And uh, and and uh, in month of November they was working across the street from my house putting shit up in my damn shit in my wall in my house. They've been working under my fucking house since 2001. Now all of a sudden I got this moisture fucking problem in my house and shit. I got this moisture problem during the summer because the whole basement is moist because they done went up under that motherfucker and got all kind of shit dug up. You see what I'm saying? Trying to kill a nigga. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Trying to kill a nigga. And why is it that the water was all brown? I thought it was rusty pipes. But then they said the water was brown all over Atlanta. But that wasn't it. They, they was doing this stuff and they said in order for us to lock down Atlanta by dehydration, by putting the shit in the water. You see what I'm saying? In that particular case, because it ain't the water you drink, it's got something you can do with the shit that you bathe in. But don't worry about that because you can't. You are protected. Because you've already gone. Remember I talked about how there was a rapture? And they talked about this thing going from, there was a group of people that was in the consciousness, and they went to another level, and the other people just became just even more stupefied and dumb and stuff, and you can't reach those particular people. That's because they had to preserve a certain amount of people. So if you hit a knife, you're already protected. You, you're already protected and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So they couldn't do shit. But that's not stopping them from trying. So I already know the shit they're doing with the water department because they've been doing the shit in my house. Across the street, I ain't stupid. What fucker pulling up sidewalks and shit? You know what I'm saying? And all that kind of stuff is going down and all. Then I'm hearing all kind of rabbit under my house at night and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All kind of rattling and shit like that. I ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? I got a government agent and shit. I move in the house in, in 99, 2000. A nigga take a, go over there and they build a whole house and they work on the goddamn house for a year and quit. Come back and work on it again and quit. Like, but goddamn, well, y'all gotta make up your mind. Y'all went around a million or some shit? I mean, they put literally thousands and thousands in this house, and that's all the part because that's a damn government agent house. It was interesting and stuff because the psychic said, well, that's a government agent live across the street from me. <laughs> okay, you know, spying and shit. So, I'm up there, and, and, and all this summer, uh, the sister from Kansas, Olivia, she's visiting me. She walked out in the damn, she's going to walk out in the goddamn street. I told her it's an Asian house. She's going to go and look in the front. And she go in the front of the house, and they got some little blue shit in the street. And I said, well, that ain't nothing. They got them shits all over. She said, why does she say NASA? NASA on the little blue shit. What the fuck is NASA got a little piece? You know, that little dish they put in the street.
street for the little thing. Yeah, you you take it for granted and all. It's supposed to be some reflection shit. Well, what this shit got NASA on it for? Right. NASA owned the shit. And then all of a sudden, one of the sisters pull up in the house, pull up at the house. She see me at the bus stop. She pull up the house and said, I'm going, I got to make it to the damn bus. I got to make it to the, to, to, uh, the post office before 5 o'clock. She said, I'll drive you. So we pull up the house. I said, I'm going to get this package and stuff. So uh, now I left the package. I left something. I left something and I had to go back to the house to pick it up. She said, well, I know them people right there. Those people that was, they, they go all over the world working. He said he was in Africa, but he didn't have nothing good to say. He was in Africa, but he didn't have nothing good to say about, he didn't have anything good to say about Africa. I said, well, what is he doing working in Africa? She said, man, he done that all over the world. This guy's a government agent. That's what I'm just trying to say. But it's some shit with Adam, but, but NASA. Going back. The United Water thing, if they can come out and say that they got to fix the water thing, that gives them the go-ahead when they start breaking up shit right. and tearing on the street and putting all kind of shit up in there for people. It ain't about you. It's for the masses of niggas out here that still drinking sink water like a damn poop. Right. So when they go in... You know how to break down all that shit down or they can kill all the motherfuckers. Because in the movie they said what? It's coming from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It's stuff. It's coming from Atlanta. So this is one of the keys with this particular thing here. Uh, with, with this particular thing. But remember, the return of Nomo. And the return of Nomo has something to do with the war. Now y'all, uh, like I said, uh, um, remember now, kidneys comes from the word echidna. You will find that great goddess Echidna, underworld goddess Echidna. You will find that in Robert Gray's Greek myths and Carl Carini's book, Gods of the Greeks. And uh, uh, you, you will find that particular uh, word Echidna in, in that particular thing. It's also called Melusines. There you go. Now that's the key right there. The why is this ancient entity? It, it's, a, it's an entity with a mermaid, but it has two feet like Ola Kuhn, if anybody's in the Ural, has the same symbol. But it's called Melusines. And why is this connected with melanin? And why is the Melusines in Carl Jung's works and the Melusines is connected with alchemy and alchemy is the study of melanin? Melusines, mermaids, sirens, water nymphs, ash tree nymphs, and all these particular mystical beings and stuff is nothing but components inside of the human body. But one of the keys here is the kidney has to be some type of sleeping organ. It is the water, what it is, is it has something to do with some leftover part of us from a pre-human existence that they do not want to wake up. So dehydration is the fucking key. You see, is the key when it comes to black people. Not you. They don't give a damn, you know. They know they can't stop it. They know that the masses drink sink water. You see what I'm saying? And they gonna go down that road and they're gonna eat the potato chips on one side of the road, potato chips, peanuts, and popcorn, which is sodium, and the soda's on the other side of the road. And stuff like that and all. But if anybody knows, you know this is a metaphysical thing. You know this has got something to do with a mystical initiation. Have you ever tried to drink, really try to drink a lot of water? This is a terrifying experience. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ever try to drink a lot of water? It is something else. It's about like a drunk when you give him a glass of water. He goes, what is that shit? So he's so used to the alcohol. So the water is nasty. So you know that it's, it's got to be something because a terrifying experience. You drink two, drink two tall glasses of water and try that third one. And see, won't you damn the kid yourself? I had to drink three, four glasses of water had to go lay on the goddamn bed. See what I'm saying? But you be sick for about a good 10 minutes. You just be out of it. But when it starts to subside, you go into bliss. Now I, had, I knew something was going on based on the elements when I was telling you that the elements of the water, everything is in, our, in, in inside of our body. I knew something was up that after I drink the four gallons of water a day for four days, you know, it's a lot of peeing going involved in that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you got some time off <laughs> from the work, you'll get you some gallons of water and drink Four gallons of water. And that fourth day, I went back to 1978, 
Then I went to 1980, and then I could bounce around, and then I started selecting the years, and then I started going to some shit that wasn't even part of my, I started going to the parties and shit like that. You know, and see, Juju used to tell me that. He said, do you remember slavery? <laughs> and I say, yeah, I do. He said, for the mere fact that you got you can conjure an image up in your head, you it's got to be real. Dr. Devil Blair said that. If it's if 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 it's not real, if it's not, you can't perceive it, you couldn't think about it if it's not real. You see what I'm saying? And even when Marcellus, they said, where did you get that last cup? He said, I got this shit from slavery. You see what I'm saying? So I tapped into this and I started going into the damn time travel and stuff like that. Uh, I started going to time travel, and I got so good at it until I could take a tall glass of water and drink a tall glass of water and get fucked up. <laughs> get high. <laughs> Had a buzz like a motherfucker. You can do that. Tapping in the bottom and stuff, because remember now, we're still talking about melanin is in the lower gastrointestinal tract. There's a composite of melanin called carbonic ash in the lower gastrointestinal tract. You see what I'm saying? Uh, carbonic ash and stuff like that. So I didn't realize when the entity fell, I, I had some shit go around in 2001. It just a job on me. Not only did it hit my ear, it hit my stomach in the aspect of, I went and got two colonics over Christmas and only shit come out, there wasn't no feces. I, I got rid of all that shit, colon cleansing, CKLS, and all that shit during the 90s. All it was is just straight gas and mucus and all like that and all. Down in the particular gastrointestinal tract. Now, when you deal with the mythology, they say go down to the ravenous dragon and recover a pearl that resides there. Mm. Where's the ravenous dragon? The ravenous dragon is the colon. And up under the colon is this pearl, this seed of carbonic ash. But the key here is to get down with the shit based on water. You see, that's one of the aspects, but like I said, the other aspect is the particular kidney thing and all. This is very key. This is the most important thing. Because the only thing that the Lavado entity came and said, I need water. So in so many words, based on the Mentichlorians that they talk about in the Star Wars The Phantom Menace, and these particular, what they call it, uh, microscopic organisms, they're supposed to be cosmic intelligence. They need water. So it's a whole civilization that needs water. Now it's also in the ancient mythology of Shiva. Shiva destroys the world by drinking up all of the water off the earth. Well, that's what they're talking about with us. Drinking the water. This is the key to this whole mystical system that we're talking about here. And that we're talking about here. Now it's interesting here because see some of this mythology. In Crawley's book on Atlantis, he said Atlantis means the word, when they, when they break down the word, the mean, word means black woman. That's what the word means, Atlantis. When they break it down, based on the Latin terminology, it means black woman. Well, Atlantis has something to do with being sinking before the floor of the ocean and the water. So we talk about that whole concept of mystical entities that has something to do with water. But people are looking out in the ocean, but the mystical entities are inside of us, but they don't. Now, this brother, this guy here in the book, The Hermetic Traditions by Julius Evola. The Hermetic Traditions by Julius Evola. He alludes to something in here that we're going to also get into with the monster thing and all, what we're talking about. When we fell into humanity, because humanity is a condition that we fell into, in order to keep us on lockdown, they had to cause what is called a cosmic thirst. The pre-physical entities came from the great celestial ocean. It had something to do with water. The great mother was filleted and destroyed, and her body was used to make the earth, mostly water. And so, to keep people on lockdown, they took the main wide body of water and they put salt in it. He talks about that in here to cause a thirst. The salt is to keep humanity on lockdown. That means you have a limitation of water, a limitation of water coming to the earth. So that's why civilization has to flourish by ancient mystical lakes and rivers. 
You understand what I'm saying? Also, why is it, even with the salt water, why is it that they make sure that black people don't live near the beach? You see what I'm saying? And you go to Long Island, black people live on one side of the fucking island, shit be looking just like the ghetto. Right in Long Island, you see this shit, Roosevelt, Amityville, I've been up all up that shit there now. Look like the ghetto, and the other side of the damn island is beachfront property. And they make, yeah, come down, but they make sure that black people mostly don't live against, live in the, and live, live near the water. The only place where they had whole beaches of black beaches and stuff, that they made sure they, they, worked the, they worked the last fucking 40 years to get rid of is the beaches of South Carolina from Hilton Head, Atlantic Beach, and all that, which was all black beaches. That's why I grew up on a segregated beach. You see what I'm saying? Now that shit is all beachfront property owned by white folks. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, and why is it? And I also talk about with the Jacksonville, Florida, the St. John's River is the only river that runs upstream like the Nile River in Jacksonville, Florida. And why is it that that particular river, they purposely pollute that river? And most of Jacksonville is mostly water in the river. The, the, the statue of the city surrounds water. Why do they pollute the river? Because of black people near that particular river, it's got something to do with the whole water thing. You see what I'm saying? It's got something to do with the whole water thing. So uh, we deal with that now. Uh, you want to take a break or what you want to do? How do you want to do it? It's on you. Uh, huh? Let's take a 10 minute break. Uh, I mean, we can keep going or we can come on back and get back into it. We got a lot of shit to cover. So we'll take a 10 minute break and we're going to come back. So we got a lot of stuff to cover. Okay. All right. Uh, still on this. Uh, Dehydration kick, the number one role in the government is dehydration. Um, especially for the female, which carries collars. Collars are the, are the, 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 the substances that's throughout the body that I was talking about, that I was talking about throughout the body, uh, called collars. Uh, 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 these substances, these particles, these microscopic organisms that do out the body, but they also are secreted through vaginal fluid and are called collars. Um, uh, called, called K A L L A S. Collars. Uh, this particular book here deals with it, which is which is probably one of the uh, uh, very hard books to get if you it's out of print. This book, The Black Goddess in the Unseen Real by Peter Redgrove. Uh, this particular book here, you can get it on the internet. You can get it on the internet. It's going to cost you about, about $80. How much is it, brother? How much you pay for it? I paid 36 Well, oh, you paid 36 good, because some places, it, it, it depends where you go. Uh, the Black Goddess and the Unseen Real. Peter Red wrote. He also wrote the book, uh, The Wise Wound, on the whole menstrual cycle, him and Penelope Show. Now, that book is in print on the, on the, the Mistress of the Mysteries, menstrual cycle. The wise wound, but uh, this is the uh, the black goddess in the unseen real, um, which was only printed in 1988. But this is one that the government basically just discontinued. You can get these particular books, um, but what he did was is he made such a convincing argument that the, the the black woman is the supreme mechanism of the universe, and this is a white boy from England and stuff, uh, Peter Redbro. And so this particular book here becomes very hard to find and all. Like I said, our most out of print book search companies, you can get this particular book. It's interesting here, but he's dealing with the collars. He's dealing with a riddle that was given to Solomon. Now remember now, Solomon is Osiris. All most of these biblical characters that you think that really live, that like Abraham, those are mystical characters. Amen. Mm -hmm. That, uh, and most of these biblical characters are mystical characters like all oh, like Abraham. You get Abraham in, in Hebrew. You get Brahma in India. Look at the word Brahma. You scramble it. And look at the word Abraham. Same shit. You see what I'm saying? Um, so these are ancient mystical figures, but you can't take it that Abraham and all these. Some people started from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
Isaac and Jacob and all this kind of stuff here and all. And these are mystical, mythological characters that all of the ancient people had that you keep thinking is some real mystical people like David and Solomon and Sheba and all. Solomon and Sheba is nothing but Isis and Osiris. You see what I'm saying? Almond Ra and Hathor. Sheba, the, the male Sheba and Pravati in India. You see what I'm saying? Sheba and Pravati, Isis and Osiris, Aset and Osar, uh, Solomon and Sheba, Metatron and Metronet, Anana, and, uh, and, and I can't think of her mate's name at all. Um, hmm? Well, no, Martha was another, uh, her other mate, the mate that she, that she had the courtship with, called a divine courtship. There's a book by uh, Barbara Black Cole too on Sheba. And uh, what Barbara Black Cole Schumann, in this particular book he says that uh, they're called the lovers. That's the lovers in the tarot card. This is the reason why the number one key here is to make sure that the sister don't connect back with the black male. Because the only way that you're going to get the collar to be admitted, it has to be a black penis. It, 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 has, to, it has to be a black penis. And all, uh, you see what I'm saying? And uh, that's the only way that the collars can be admitted. And all, uh, you know what I'm saying? And all, uh, you know. Can't be admitted through no toys. Although the toys is good too for you sisters or whatever for practice. Why? Because part of the, the admitting of the college is the stepping to the G spot. The G spot. We, we talked about all this stuff in the last, you know, I, I bombarded you all with this in 2000. But it was interesting because, um, I mean, I've said so many things over the last 10 years and the people would eat it up and stuff. And as and, and soon as I, did this, went into the tantric thing in 2000, motherfuckers lost their mind, and then we found out how well the Christian ingrained mentality is, we are Christian creatures. You see what I'm saying at all? We're Christian creatures and moralism, steeped in moralism and mores and stuff. And let me, let me tell you something. When this thing go down, when you get ready to go down into it, it's funny. Most of this stuff is not going to have anything to do with human behavior whatsoever. Human behavior is an illusion. As a matter of fact, here's a book that, like I said, The, the Flying Serpents and Dragons, the, the story of mankind's reptilian past, which is talking about the monster. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to do in a whole new paradigm tonight, as well as a rites of passage tonight, as well as a theology, and that is embracing the monster. And what I mean by that is you've got to go completely against your human aspect of trying to say that my human aspects are going to be the traits that's going to catapult me into the next world. No. The human aspect is what you're coming out of. So that's what you have to fight against, leaving behind. And what you're going to have to do is, is break down just about anything that you think is important to you. So I have made it a presence uh, the last couple of years, and people say, oh, man, guess what so-and-so did, guess what this and guess what this and all. I'm like, it don't matter. It don't matter. You know how you know what I said? It really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because it really doesn't and stuff, because we're talking about that type of, of coming out of that particular uh, human bondage. And that's the key. That's the key. Human bondage, which makes humanity the enemy. That is the key why you find out now why black people are all fucked up. And you can't trust them. Trust no one. That is, the, that, is the, that is the spirit world telling you that ultimately humanity is the enemy. So none of this stuff is going to come from the human existence. And that's why you have to accept something other than the human existence. I'll get into that in a few minutes. But I want to show you in this particular part about Solomon and Sheba. It talks about, um, and this is the stuff that we're talking about, and this has a lot to do with the water again. Because it says, in Peter Redgrove's book, page 69, it says that uh, um, Solomon gives Sheba some outrageous riddles, riddles, they're so outrageous that he almost fell from his throne. You see, you know, Sheba, we're talking about the queen of Sheba, which is Isis and all that aspect, from Ethiopia, gives Solomon, which is Osiris, in all the mythology, a series of riddles that topples his throne. You know that whole riddle about, uh, you know, it's one of those, those, those riddles about, uh, how many about to help me out on a guy gets in a wreck and the doctor comes in and says somebody, I can't save this person because it's my son. And does anybody know this riddle? Yeah. Anybody know it and they can say it right now? Anybody remember the shit? Yeah, vaguely. What is it? Anybody? Yeah, it's vaguely. 
something about the doctor come home. The doctor was in the car wreck or something with the son. The doctor comes in and says, I can't save this person because he's my son. And everybody's trying to find out something about why this doctor can't save the son. And it was the woman was the damn doctor, so many words. It's one of those, those brain things that, you know, based on patriarchy, we all have to think that the doctor's supposed to be a male. Well, the series of, of, of riddles that she gave him knocked him off his stone, but this was a heavy shit right here. I don't think nobody could have got this one. She said, um, what is the color of God? That was the first answer. Well, I guess that, he didn't even give the answer to that, so you already know. It says the black goddess and the unseen real. <laughs> the next one was, what is water? What is water? He come to water again now. Remember now, the water is the key. Remember, if there was one X-Files when it was raining, the whole show was raining, and at the end of the show, the goddamn water came alive and was fucking people up. The water was actually an entity. You ever seen that shit? The water came alive and the water was... There was one while it was raining, people was dying, and the water came alive and was beating mold in them ass. It was in their ass and stuff. Yeah, the water came alive. Go get that movie, Deep Rising. The guy said, you go deep and down the east. And, that, and those, those entities, those dragon-like entities in the movie Deep Rising, that's what we're talking about here. Um, like I said, this particular book, R.A. Boulay, with a hell of a name, Flying Serpents and Dragons. This is a hell of a um, real scholarly piece to, to, uh, to, to a synopsis to make this, this claim. In here, uh, Flying Serpents and Dragons by uh, Robert R.A. Boulay. R.A. Boulay, now it says, what the question, the second question, what is the color? The first question is, what is the color of God? The other one was, what is water that is neither in the air or in the river or in the ocean nor in rain? The answer, the, the, uh, okay, yeah. the answer was supposed to be the sweat of a horse's mane. mane. But it is a double riddle of woman's love. Whereas between, whereas the, the, the other double riddle, where is the water? It's not in the clouds, not in the river, not in the ocean, and not in the rain. One was the sweat of a horse's mane, and the other was the wetness between the thighs of Sheba. You see what I'm saying? He couldn't get that, like, knock his ass off. In so many words and stuff, this is a, uh, this is a, a, uh, this is a reference to um, this is a reference to what is called collars that you can get in most Indian mythology um, uh, uh, when you deal with collars and stuff. Um, which, all, all again, you've got to shut down the water because no water, no production of collars. Collars. A lot of it, now remember now, we, Dick Gregory already said that the, uh, that the asthma, that the asthma was because the oxygen was not getting, the, the lungs was not getting enough water. And was not getting oxygenated because of not enough water. And also, Dick Gregory also explained um, that uh, that um, chronic arthritis is when the bones, the gristle and all that behind the bone, in, in the, uh, between the bones and the joints between the bone, does not get enough water. So, collars, which is the, 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 the sexual transmissions or emissions, same thing, collars out of space, from the black woman. Collars, a digit of the moon, and as maker of bright and dark foreknights, our word calendar derives from collars. There are 16 collars of lunar fluids in the terrestrial science. They are situated in the organism of the human female. Hence the word Kali. Kali the goddess of time and of colors. Time is the source of energy that empowers spacecraft. Now here it is again because A&E is getting ready to do something on Monday or Tuesday on the scientific aspects of the whole UFO shit. It's back up the question. <clears throat> and they're getting ready to throw this thing down uh, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday on this whole UFO thing. So it says colors, our source of energy that empowers spacecraft. When converted into energy, Collars appear as power to motivate spacecrafts to enable them to travel in 
infinite spaces in, in, in a twinkling of an eye. So the word calendar comes from the word Kali, calendar, Kala, and these lunar fluids, these particular transmissions. But you can't get that particular spell if you don't have water. So it's simple. When you come dry or you give out a lube too fast, it's because you don't have enough water in the system. And what these waters do, these deposits of these entities and these energies, uh, 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 these particular energies and, and stuff in this particular aspect. Just going back more and more into particular information, but stick with me now because we're going to get what we're really coming here tonight to get uh, this particular part. I made allusions to it before, but what we're talking about now is this is the kickoff of a damn theology I'm getting ready to go into. What's that? Did you, uh, the book, um, Sex and Rockets. Um, talking about a guy named Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons, yeah. Yeah, started one of the, he was an occultist, a sex magician who helped start the Jet, Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. And yeah, he also uh, hooked up with L. Ron Hubbard, and that's where your whole uh, yeah, uh, uh, Scientology comes from. Jack Parsons was a, a theosophist, who was a, was a, a Thelemite, which was a Crawley, one of Crawley's disciples, and he died in 1947, 47, yeah, 1947. No, 1945, I think. You know, 1947, he died, had a heart attack. He was trying to produce a magical child, this procedure and all. And, um, um, yeah, he dealt, dealt with a whole lot of stuff, with rockets and all that type of stuff. Um, um, Jack Parsons and all. Um, he also, uh, he did proceed in having this woman do a channel. He said there would be a child born on the earth that was a, a child born on the earth that would be some type of figure that would be more powerful than... Um, the gods above or whatever and stuff and then um call it the Babylon working was the actual text that he talked about that but also Jack Parson was friend with L. Ron Hubbard and so your whole um, dianetics is nothing but a modified version of Crawley's system put into that type of thing and that's what the whole Hollywood thing is dealing with. John Travolta, Isaac Hayes, Kirsty Alley, um you know, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and all those particular people and all those dealing with that, uh, the, the whole uh, Scientology thing. You see what I'm saying? The whole Scientology thing and all. But that's, that's, where, that's where the origin of all that came from. And Jack Parsons was one of the people who was a partner of L. Ron Hubbard. But L. Ron Hubbard and both of them came out of the whole, uh, the Lemite, uh OTO. Uh, came out of the actual uh, OTO. Um, and, uh, uh, now, which is interesting here because um, I was saying that the original feminine side, when you study one of the oldest texts on the earth, which is your Enuma Elish, it was back, it was interesting that that particular realm that was taken over by the mystical realm of Yahweh or whatever the thing, when you have the male order, it's interesting, but when you read the text, it was clearly males in that order that was overthrown. And that's why I was trying to tell the sisters, going back, because I knew I just left off my train of thought the last time, but I was trying to say this. There's a group of sisters that's trying to, they want to exclude the male. Let me give an example. There were some sisters that started their particular group and they had a whole sisterhood. But there was a brother that was a financier. He was the one that was bringing the money. He was the one that was buying the books. And he was the one, when I would come up, to fill it, he was the one who was getting through loads and loads of the information. So when they put the sisterhood together, they were supposed to include the brother up in the sisterhood. But by them thinking that this sisterhood or the feminine thing has something to do, they think it's got something to do with the physical female, they didn't understand that beyond that, no, there is no exclusion. And so what they were actually doing is, with the book that you, you had, where they had the, the mail and all the stuff in the, that used to be in the matriarchal plan. And they said that the matriarchal plan was all inclusive, and the patriarchal plan plan was exclusive. They would exclude people. So when the sisters started excluding the male, they was actually following the patriarchal plan and not knowing it. They was thinking that they was countering the, the 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 patriarchal or the masculine plan by making all bringing all the sisters together. They were actually creating the same. Aspect of the, that came about with the patriarchal plan, which was exclusion. So in actuality, they were actually exacerbating and they were actually putting forth masculine the masculine realm. So I was like, this brother here should have been included 
in your realm. You see what I'm saying? Because it had nothing to do with the physical female. So they got that and then they got the queen of the damn book where the book, she wants to kill all the males. <clears throat> now clearly this is a, the same extremism of white people. You see what I'm saying? Uh, extremism of white people and stuff. You see, so she want to kill all the damn males, but yet when you read the text, the text on um, when the great mother falls, we get the, the Apep text in Kemet, it just starts with the birth of Ra overthrowing Apep. You don't get what happened before Ra comes in. In Hebrew, you get a group of entities that's ousted and then by God, but you don't really get what went down. You see what I'm saying? You do get it in the Greek thing, and you also get but one of the oldest ones, the Typhonian, you get the, the Typhonian when it goes back to Babylonia, which survived. But Tiamat, Tiamat got a group of males that's with her to get overthrown. So this is not about the exclusion of males. When, if we're going to do some new eon magic, we all get in our ass cut down. All, all getting our ass cut down. And so what we just got a whole group of sisters are saying, the problem here is males, period. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like the fucking black man oppressed you. Hell, he don't lock down his damn self. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Hell, I, shit, half, 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 half the women I know, I used to live in the, oh, oh, oh. We was in Vine City, we was, we, we had there was some college, they had a college setting where they had, we rented this apartment, we had Section 8, and we had college students. And the one of the brothers made the thing, he said, all these sisters here is on welfare. He said, but they handle that shit. The welfare is designed, they still handle shit, they, they provide for the children. The goddamn nigga is out here, is a drunk, and fucking insane. And that's all I So my point here is, it's like my hockey model booty said, we don't need to get into this particular uh, diversionary track in this plan to say who's more oppressed than others. Oppression is oppression and the black man and the black woman are both oppressed. It might come in a different form and because you can't see his oppression and stuff, because you have a certain oppression, it might come in a different form. You see what I'm saying? But then again, on the other hand, we're still talking about two oppressed people and we don't need to get into that argument because it's the same argument that they said that in Algeria that Asa Head was saying when they wanted to take Algeria they, they, they went to the Arab, the woman, and said, you know, you got that veil on, now they are right. They had the veil on, but this was not the, but see, you got to understand the political stance. They were not interested in taking the veil off the of Arab woman. They were interested in destabilizing the government. So as a result, they got this big fight going on to take the veil off the Arab woman, and meanwhile, they destabilized the government and they came in and took over the whole shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's like the Amnesty International. These are things where as you come in, they give you one political prisoner. But you got to give them all this information on the goddamn government. It's a spy organization. Then they come in and destabilize the whole government. You see what I'm saying? So then again, on the other hand, this is what's going down. There's a whole group of sisters out here and stuff. They're saying, this is the sisterhood now versus the brotherhood based on the feminine principle. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's feminism. There's a difference between feminism and the feminine principle. The feminine principle is all inclusive and it has its own set of males. You understand what I'm saying? That's just African culture, goddamn. Now you're going to exclude the African man? That's just African culture. When we say this shit, ain't nothing mystical about it. That was the African culture pre-invasions. So now all of a goddamn sudden you come back around, you up this motherfucker with nothing, no niggas? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody screwing, nobody doing nothing. You see what I'm saying? No, sister, so my point here is, that was just the African culture. So all of a sudden now, we got some new shit now, where all of a sudden now, you know, the white man convince you to exclude the brothers. You see what I'm saying? So I say that now because this is some, this is some thing. But I, and I say that now, and I use the scholarship because I'm looking at the text the Numa Elish, which is the text of the overthrow of the great mother. As Tiamat, Ty, land of Mayat. Ty means land. Tiamat. We get this, it comes up and we find it in Babylonia, but it is pre dynastic Egyptian. And we get this particular thing, but in this particular thing, we see, I see males. He sees in our males and females, and, 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 and I see males. And also, too, this is another thing, also, too. We can't look at the damn white woman and let her 
make the standard of what we think roles are. Yeah. And what I mean by that is this here. Because the goddamn black man, because the, because the white man is on the telephone pole, connecting telephone wise, the white woman say, I want to get on the telephone pole too. Well, goddamn, well, well, good for you, but that ain't no damn criteria. <laughs> now you dig in shitholes. So, because a person has a certain role, it doesn't mean that you're less of energy in energy because you copy the same role. That's the whole concept of alchemy of opposites. We're supposed to be opposites. You see what I'm saying? We're supposed to be opposites. We're supposed to be on the way in the middle of the goddamn floor. <laughs> and you're supposed to complain about the shit. <laughs> That's a bad example. What I'm trying to say here is okay, the word love or the word they say it means a union of opposites. There's a book I call it Al Alchemy of Opposites. It's still in print. The Alchemy of Opposites. Opposites. If you got two of the same half, you don't have a whole. You only have a whole with opposite. Somebody, some sister say, you sure don't think like a sister. I'm like, thank God. Why? Because <laughs> what the fuck are you keep coming to see coming to my goddamn house? You know what I'm saying? You go to some other girl's house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we supposed to think, you know what I'm saying? So some sister laughed I said, you know, I told the sister, I said, you know, it's about past your bedtime. You know what I'm saying? She's at a party. I said, Yo, your husband's going to goddamn give you the beat down. She said, oh, no, fuck that. I done gave that motherfucker the claw. That goddamn remote control. She said, I ain't going to have no problem. Shit, we got that AT&T broadband. Now, that kid got 200 channels on the bitch. Ain't got to worry about him for the fucking damn, for the millennium. But she already know. That's the, that's the opposite. <laughs> That's the goddamn opposite and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the key here is, the point here is, the alchemy of opposites is, it don't so, we don't supposed to be the damn same. Right. If the Kundalini energy just says all of feminine energy, then this has got to have some, some opposite of the, if it's two in energies and stuff, and you got two serpents and staff that can do some, you got to have an opposite. What the fuck? You don't need one snake to do some, one job. You want everybody to do the same shit. You don't need but one snake. You see what I'm saying? So it's got to be opposites. And my point here is with also too, if it's opposites, it don't necessarily mean that the, that the woman's role a lot of time <coughs> is necessarily um, subordinate because it's different. That's what I'm trying to say. You understand what I'm saying? You see them damn movies where they never had several of them like Mr. Mom and shit where the motherfucker got to stay home and keep the goddamn kids. And the shit is a fucking wreck. You know what I'm saying? The shit, is, the shit is a fucking wreck. Now, not necessarily saying that all sisters supposed to be in the house and stuff, but I'm trying to say whatever these things are, it don't necessarily mean that you got to go strap on a goddamn gun and get out here and kill a motherfucker. So they're going beyond the shit. They're going to strap on guns and shit and up on telephone poles and shit, getting electrocuted and shit because they're trying to copy the man. So my point here is that's feminism, and we copy that from the fucking white woman. Right. You see what I'm saying? And, and that we copy that from the damn white woman. You see, and it has nothing to do with that. And all you got to do is go watch the fucking Animal Kingdom. Right. Each motherfucker got a damn rule. Right. You know what I'm saying? Each motherfucker got a damn rule. Of course, they say the male lion don't do shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's ridiculous. This motherfucker don't do nothing. She do all the killing. She do all the eat. She do all the cop. He don't do shit, but it's going to eat food. Yeah. yeah. That's all the male lion. I do. They say the king of the jungle. They done study. This motherfucker don't do nothing. No. No. <laughs> don't do shit. No. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to master that line. <laughs> not doing a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't stupid at all. I, I'm not stupid at all. I, I, don't, I don't feel inferior by not working. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? By not working it. I don't feel inferior by not working this shit. Like I said, if I did have a job, I wanted to, so I'm laying in my bed, I can take my hand and put on something and do something. If I have something to do on the side of my back, that'd be it. Laugh at this man, leisure shit. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, uh, so going back to this kind of thing, you know, uh, so we got a whole group of people, they're taking this thing and they're trying to think of something else, and it has nothing to do with that that particular aspect. Now we do know, now, but that doesn't excuse the patriarchal thing with the whole male thing of not being able to um, 
break down to a certain level and stuff, but uh, break down to a certain level and get rid of a certain amount of um, ego. But then again, on the other hand, I must address this for the last 30 years, we've been addressing the male ego. It was like C. Freeman L. said, you know the biggest ego in the world is a female ego? It would happen that she got more vanity and vain things that she has to do on contend with. You see what I'm saying? So it might, so what we have done is, is we put ego in the concept of the male, and here goes again. The sister has ego too, it's just in a whole nother form, but now ego is attributed to the damn male. You see, so here it is again, this one-sided shit, the white woman is saying the male ego, male ego for the last 30 years. There's an ego with females. We even see that shit the way the females interact with each other. I hate that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we know that there's an ego with the female. It's just that this hasn't been categorized on that particular level because of a political issue. You understand what I'm saying? Because of a political issue and stuff like that and all. But it's still the same ego type thing. But on the other hand, what we're talking about here is the 